Hello everyone, welcome to GK Today. This is Arzu Kakkar. I hope you all are doing well. Let us have a look over today's important current affairs. Before starting, let me tell you that these questions are a part of your daily 20 MCQ series that you can get on the GK Today Android application app. On that app, there are more than 500 plus questions that are given every month and also category wise questions are also available. So you can refer to the Android application app of GK Today and can install it. As you can see, the very first question in front of you is regarding a day. The, let me uh, say this question. When is the Word Development Information Day observed every year? So every year on a particular date, Word Development Information Day is observed. That date is 24th of October. Yes. Option A is the right answer. Now, see. United Nations General Assembly in 1972 established this Word Development Information Day and every year on 24th of October, we uh, basically have this day. We You can celebrate this day or we observe this day more specifically. So this day, Development Information Day, is basically to create awareness towards the developmental problems toward the problems that are surrounding the development, right? So in order to raise the awareness in these problems can be from the different nations. So the solution, what is the solution? How we can overcome? So, so as to strengthen international cooperation for their solutions, we used to observe this day on 24th of October. Moving on to the next question. India's first migration monitoring system has been inaugurated in which city? So in which city migration monitoring system has been inaugurated, which is India's first monitoring system. So the right answer of this question is in Mumbai. Option B is the right one. So this is the second question. What do you understand by migration monitoring system? The name in itself uh, it depicts migration monitoring. Migration, people who migrate from this place to this place. Monitoring. So now you are monitoring them. So the beneficiary or you can say uh, this aim, uh, the, the system aims to provide the updated information on the migrant pregnant women's lactating mothers and children's instantly on this single system. The system has been de developed by Department of Women and Child Development. Right. So uh, this tracking system will track the vulnerable migrant beneficiaries and the information will be available on this single platform with the migration system. So what is the need basically? What is the purpose? Right. So the thing is, it will improve uh, the delivery of the services. Right. So these measures are taken so that the delivery services can be improved. The services that you give to the migrant workers. So uh, it will be easy for the beneficiaries also to avail those government schemes to get the benefit of the government schemes when they are migrating from one place to the another. Right. So with this information, with this monitoring system, the beneficiaries can avail and get the services. Right. We can improve these services. Moving on to the next question. Tiger Trump, it is an exercise, an exercise that is conducted between India and which other country? The question is, have you understood the question? So the answer is the country uh, is USA. Option A is the right answer. So basically this is a humanitarian assistance disaster relief exercise. Please do remember that this is a humanitarian assistance disaster relief exercise where the objective is, now what is the objective of this exercise? So as to streamline diplomatic, operational, logistic coordination. Coordination between the countries while responding to this disaster. See, disasters can be there. Cyclones can be there uh, to, to the third countries. So the agenda is so as to provide disaster relief services. This is a joint response. And India and USA, basically, they sought to improve their interoperability between the both countries. Having, you can say, creating control model for the humanitarian assistance in the Indian Ocean region. So that is why this is a coordinated disaster relief exercise 2022 this exercise took place where this can be asked Vishakha Patnam right got it and 
uh, which basically first time it is happening no third time so in 2022 this tiger trump marked the third time so two questions i think you you have catered to now if anybody asks you you can quickly answer apart from that let me tell you some other exercise also directly you can have a link from them you can basically learn them malabar exercise so it is not between india and usa only it is a quadrilateral naval exercise between india usa japan and australia so india and usa basically they all they are also present exercise vajra prahar so it is a special force exercise between india and usa exercise yudh abhyas it is a military exercise between india and usa got it so this way uh, you can you have other three exercises also now question comes from anywhere you are able to answer that moving on to the next question which state has launched a website so this website is to publicly display the names of polluting industrial units the industrial units that are creating pollution releasing particulate matter into the atmosphere a state government has launched a website so as to hold them accountable which state is that new delhi no jharkhand correct option b is the right answer so jharkhand is uh, the state the government of jharkhand has launched this website basically this website will publicly display the names of the industrial units those industrial units that are accountable and they are releasing particulate matter into the atmosphere this is as per the jharkhand state pollution control board clear now moving on to the next question okay which state has backed projects worth rupees 16,000 crore in the new age sector. You have to tell the name of the state that has backed projects worth how many crore? 16,000 crore in the new age sector. First of all, let us uh, have a look over the state, right? Then we will cover everything. Uh, don't worry. The name of the state is Uttar Pradesh. Option C is the right answer. C. The government is in this process of attracting more private sector investors here. Uttar Pradesh state has its first data center park. It is to be inaugurated in Greater Noida. Right? This is a park, a uh, mega park of 5,000 rupees crore, a very big amount. What is the purpose behind it? Before going ahead with the purpose, Many of you will have this uh, issue. What is data center? What is data center? So nothing. Are you seeing this picture? This is a data center. So data center is that space, a dedicated, a very secure space within a building where your networking equipments, your computing, see in mobiles, in laptops, we have some storage space, right? For, for our data, that much is required. But what about the billions? What about a large amount of data, right? For that, for the purpose of collecting, storing, processing, distributing, allowing access to this large amount of data. So this data center acts as a secure space that is concentrated for this purpose of storing the large amount of data where they where you have routers you have storage system servers controllers switches here you can see this is the exact picture like a data center right and now what is the purpose behind it is will they will it create any impact to the indian economy yes it will you will it will make india a data center hub it will promote investment in this sector it will promote digital economy and even in the budget 22-2023, minister gave infrastructure status to the data center industry, right? I hope now you are very well clear with what data center is. Now you can explain to your close ones. Moving on to the next question. Great Indian Bustard is a state bird. Here you can see this is Great Indian Bustard. It is a state bird. So if it is a state bird, name the state. It is a state bird of which Indian state or union territory? Yes, please. What do you think? Correct. Rajasthan. Option B is the right answer. Now, why we are covering it before covering uh, things that are very important that you should know are UCN status critically endangered. 
in wildlife protection act it is protected under schedule 1 in convention on migratory species it is in appendix 1 so if i talk about total world population of of the the species 95% of this total of its total world population this population that is great indian bustard is having you can say 150 in rajasthan so basically this 150 if you are getting these 150 as a number the species are in rajasthan this accounts for 95% of its total world population it is found in rajasthan that is why it is a state bird of rajasthan and it is in news because recently according to some environmentalist uh, this bird has been spotted in pakistan and there is a suspect that because of the migration border it is in border no rajasthan pakistan uh, rajasthan one side pakistan on the other side there is a border so it it is a suspect that it it is it will be because of the migration of the birds that is why it was in news okay there is a pass mana pass it is located in which state or union territory every state is looks like ki it can it can be anywhere now hilly states all are the hilly states so mana pass is in uttarakhand option d is the right answer before telling about the mana pass you have to look where this pass is before map matlab map is very important you cannot skip map at any coast uttarakhand here it is mana pass covered by snow for the 6 months during the winters it connects uttarakhand with tibet right above it sorry 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 this is lipu lake i'm i'm really sorry it is above it mana pass is here this is mana pass that is connecting uttarakhand to tibet below it is lipu lake lipu lake pass above in himachal pradesh it is chipkila pass right this is the order it can also be asked prime minister narendra modi recently laid the foundation stone of the connectivity project at mana village which is in chamoli district of the uttarakhand providing all weather road connectivity to the border areas developing ropeways and providing environment friendly mode of transport right so before moving ahead please also have a look where chamoli is maps are very important i always say that so here it is chamoli in uttarakhand and here it is your mana pass got it moving on to the next news which state has set up a committee for conservation of vultures so for vultures conservation there is a committee that has been set up by a state the name of the state is the name of the state is tamil nadu if you are saying so then you are absolutely correct tamil nadu is the right answer and yes one thing more uh, before moving ahead let me tell you what uh, pa uh, mountain pass is also kyunki i have received uh, doubts from various aspirants who who always say ki please clear the basic one also very quickly let me take a minute ki we covered mountain pass now what is a mountain pass so see this these are the mountains right every time you will see mountain pass mountain pass you should also have that understanding of what mountain pass is this is a pass right this is a pass so basically it is a connectivity route through the mountain in the history you you can see it plays a very important role in trade during wars during by migration of humans and animals also right so it is a gateway that connects different parts of the country and to the neighboring countries as well now it is clear now moving on to the question that was tamil nadu as the answer tamil nadu has set up a committee this committee is for the conservation of vultures this is a vulture why is it so and what is the agenda tamil nadu government has formed this committee which is in coordination with the government for the implementation of apvcc government has this action plan action plan for vulture conservation 2020 2025 in line to this policy tamil nadu is coming up with this committee so this committee will work towards setting up certain regulations for banning certain drugs that are toxic to vultures what i am talking about please give me a minute what are these drugs and what what is the whole scenario before going let me tell you see vultures are they almost went extinct in the country at the 21st century in the beginning a decline of 96% has been registered in the india's vulture population between 1993 to 2003 
government introduced various plans what was the reason behind the extension see the major reason is if you understand diclofenac is a drug that is generally a painkiller you might have heard about it when animals like dogs hens or any animal let's say they get uh, ill so this this diclofenac is given to them this drug is given to them and when uh, due to certain reasons if animal gets die or certain anything else happens so vultures jo hai vultures eat the the these uh, dead animals like like that so they consume diclofenac from there and it affects their kidneys and, and leads to their death right other reasons are loss of habitat contaminated food or electrocution by the power lines food dearth so these all are the other reasons but the major reasons some of the very major reasons where we can work upon so the government and this committee also they have decided to ban these drugs especially the non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs right so they are banned under the vulture action plan also why these vultures are important these vultures are important because they are natural garbage collectors they help in keeping the environment clean in the food chain in the pyramid they are at the top so it will help in creating a healthy functioning of the ecosystems right that is why vultures have their own importance now moving to the next question rishi sunak set to become the prime minister of which country so is the prime minister of which country now united kingdom It's very much in news uk i hope that you all have seen uh, his photo till now so far so the former british finance minister rishi sunak is set to become the britain's is the britain's next uh, the, the prime minister now and uh, yeah last year uh, we we had a road map 2030 for india uk future relations so let us see how things go from here onwards now moving to the last question don't worry session is not going to end we'll have a revision category <laughs> okay so last question pradhan mantri gram sadak yojana phase 3 do remember it is phase 3 it has been launched in which state the name of the state they are asking it has been launched in what should i tick himachal pradesh correct option b is the right answer so basically pradhan mantri launched this uh, phase 3 of pradhan mantri gram sadak yojana in chamba himachal pradesh right for the upgradation of around 3125 kilometers of road in himachal pradesh and more than 420 crore have been sanctioned by the central government under this phase for upgradation of 440 kilometer of roads in the border areas 15 border blocks uh, of of the of that particular state so as to improve the connectivity pradhan mantri gram sadak yojana if asked when was this scheme launched in which year back in 2000 25th of december is the date the agenda is to provide all time uh, all weather road connectivity to the unconnected habitations funding see union government bears 90% of the cost in case the project sanctioned under the scheme is for the northeast and himalayan states otherwise for other states union government will be a 60% of the cost right so this was about pradhan mantri gram sadak yojana now moving on to your category wise compilation here you can see the very first category that is a category related to missions so it is not any single mission for any, from any particular sector defense sector uh, or any mission of any country science and technology related missions or environmental related missions right any mission that was in news we will have a look over it we will have a question for that and we'll remember it we'll revise it dart mission is launched by which country usa right which country launched innovation road map of mission integrated bio refineries none other than our country our loving country united one india right unity in diversity which country has partnered with china for its moon exploration missions so the country that has partnered with china is uae competition commission of india approved the acquisition of payment gateway provider bill desk by which company payu competition commission of india is a statutory body it is under which ministry ministry of corporate affairs right okay there is a implementing agency of ayushman bharat digital mission yes there is 
it is your homework you will let me know in the comment section right i'll wait for your answers everybody's artemis third is a crewed moon landing mission of which country yes please usa okay there is a state that launched national mission to make india number 1 it is new delhi isro recently test fired the milestone of low altitude escape motor of which mission gaganyaan right this question is your homework so you have two questions from this category now you will directly have a uh ho your homework slide right i'll not give any more questions from any other category i'll i i'll let you know all the answers these two questions were your homework right now moving to a category that talks about reverse that were in news i hope that you all have uh done the previous year questions right so if you have then you will understand the relevance reverses that are in news are of very much importance they direct questions can be asked so let us have a look over the very first question which state inaugurated lata mangeshkar chowk at the banks of saryu river question can be twisted any ways lata mangeshkar chowk in launched in uttar pradesh is at the bank of which river saryu river right so don't think ki only this will be the this way is the possible answer the question can be twisted that way also so both way please do remember here uttar pradesh is the right one tamirapanni river is located in which river oh in which state sorry it is in tamil nadu right okay bud balanga river bud balanga river is located in which state odisha Indian Army began the reconstruction of a 150 year old Bailey Bridge over Suktawa River in which state Madhya Pradesh India signed a MOU with which country on interim water of Kushiara River Bangladesh What is the name of the new model of sustainable development of rivers proposed by Indian government Arth Ganga these are very important right okay rhine river is located in which region now we are not in india because as as far as this uh, question is concerned we are moving to europe because this river is in europe now come back to india we have now next river indian river mandakini river it is a tributary of which river alaknanda right varda river is a tributary of which river tungbhadra Siruvani river is a tributary of which river Bhavani river right do remember these rivers they are very important now moving on to the last category we will have a look over the festivals festivals that were in news the very first question is talking about which indian state famous for its king chili organized a mirchi festival nagaland nagaland Samvatsari day is a traditional festival okay it is celebrated in which religion jainism navkhai is a traditional festival of which indian state odisha shumang leela is a traditional festival of which state manipur north east india festival 2022 celebrates 75 years of relations of india with which other country thailand so there is a next incredible india kargil marathon and tourism festival 2022 which city hosted this festival sorry kargil kargil hosted this festival kharchi is a traditional festival it is celebrated in which state tripura which state announced to conduct a government backed shopping festival in 2023 that is new delhi Okay, Unmesh is a international literary festival that is organized by which state? Himachal Pradesh. India recently organized Mango Festival. This festival was organized in which country to boost the export of mangoes? Bahrain. And the last question: Khir Bhawani Mela is a festival that is celebrated in which union territory? Jammu and Kashmir. 
so here comes your homework so these are your questions that you will tell me in the comment section and also two questions that i have given you as a homework so i expect answers from everybody and i wish everybody a very best of luck a happy day a nice day thank you take care best of luck and do like the session also if you like learning do subscribe the channel